Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for coming out. Um, just a couple of announcements. There's bottles of water in the cooler back there. Um, you have the bathroom, so please help yourselves if you need water. And lunch break will be from 1 to 2.30 today. Um, anyway, my name is Mike Lemieux, and some of you know who I am, but for those who don't, I uh, have a book called Dude, Where's My Jesus Fish, which contains a ton of quotes <laughs> from Gary Renard's first two books, The Disappearance of the Universe and Your Immortal Reality. And uh, just like Gary, I'm um, originally from Massachusetts, so together we are recovered mass hole brothers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when I read The Disappearance of the Universe and Your Immortal Reality for the first time, back in 2007, they were for me the first two books I ever read on spirituality that made total sense to me from cover to cover, left me with no answer questions. I'd be like, every other page, I'd be like, damn, it's about freaking time somebody put it like this. So, yeah. uh, You're not totally recovered. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> and uh, they said, uh, Arden Persis said, it was about time somebody put the universe in its place. And, they most certainly did that, and I absolutely love them for it. Yes. And uh, I forgot what I was going to say next, so I was going to pull out my paper out to cheat here. I'm sorry. I had it all memorized. <laughs> uh, one thing I had to think about, though, uh, was on page nine of Disappearance. A uh, person says, God did not create duality, did not create the world. If he did, he'd be the author of a tale told by an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> and when I read that, um, that was news to me. I had to really think about that because of all the books I read on spirituality up until that point in my life, um, I hadn't gotten that moment that God didn't create the world. So um, I had to think about that one. But then later on in the book, they quote from A Course in Miracles, uh, God does not forgive because he's never condemned, and there must be condemnation before forgiveness is necessary. And when I read that, the light bulb just went on, and it just clicked. And the idea that God didn't make uh, create the world made perfect sense to me. It was like, duh. So obvious now, why the hell didn't I figure that out on my own? <laughs> so, anyway, uh, a couple more things. So I'm not used to public speaking here, so uh, just bear with me for a minute. All day. <laughs> um, I'm very grateful for Gary here for putting his books out there, um, for having the stones to put his books out there, because it's not exactly a, an easy message for people to accept. And uh, I don't know what the hell I'd be doing in my life otherwise if he didn't put the books out there. And um, this forgiveness stuff that he talks about, it really does work if you apply it. You know, you just gotta apply it. You know, it helps remove the stick from your ass, you know? <laughs> I still have one of mine, but thanks to this forgiveness stuff, <laughs> it's, it's not as deep as it used to be. Thanks for the forgiveness. <laughs> anyway, I've read Gary's books. Uh, the trilogy, uh, combined total, which would include Love is Forgotten No One, uh, combined total 40 times between the three books. And um, I've been coming to these workshops at least once a year since 2008, uh, some years multiple times because I'm weird like that. And <laughs> it got to the point where a few years back, Gary finally says to me, uh, Mikey, you really need to get a life. <laughs> A few years have passed and I'm still showing up to these things, apparently because I have no life and nothing else better to do. <laughs> but uh, Gary and Cindy here, they, they seem to still tolerate, so I keep showing up. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> but I think they're just being kind and they're patiently waiting for me to disappear. <laughs> we are all waiting to disappear. <laughs> Good one, Dr. Renard. Speaking of Cindy, Gary's very lovely wife, Cindy Laura Renard, will also be speaking here today, not just Gary. And she, uh, <laughs> she may not have two ascended masters apparent to her, but uh, she's no slouch and can hold her own when it comes to presenting the purely non-dualistic message of A Course in Miracles. So if you've never got to hear her speak, you're in for a treat today. And she has a book of her own that just came out called The Course in Health and Wellbeing. It's very good. I highly recommend it, and there's plenty of copies of it in the back there, so have at it. And um, I just wanted to tell one quick joke, and then I'll turn it over to Gary and Cindy. I, uh, I stole this from Seinfeld, 
And it's kind of appropriate for me right now being speaking in front of people because this joke has to do with uh, the studies of fears people have. And the number one fear, according to these studies that people have, is the fear of public speaking. Now that's pretty interesting because in these same studies, the number two fear people have is the fear of death. Death is number two. <laughs> so that means to the average person, if you have to be at a funeral, you're better off being inside the casket than doing your religion. All right. Thank you very much. The sun is on the screen. Woo! Please welcome to Emily City. to be totally uncompromising with the message of the course, which, let's face it, it's really important to be uncompromising or else the course wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't work. So Gary and I always make it a point to be as uncompromising as we can with the message, and that's what we're going to be doing today. 